Hi there, this is Brad at Brad's Home Center. Once again, continue our review of our Chef Mate 15,000 BTU portable burner. We are gonna brown some ground beef and brown some pork for my Sunday sauce. Anybody wanna know what Sunday sauce is? Link will be down below. Now, a lot of inexpensive cook stoves and cooktops can't brown beef. You know, that crispy, flavorful, what happens when it has that mallard reaction if you got a 7000 BTU burner you just ain't going to get it so what we're going to do we're going to fire this one up there it goes we're going to pour a little olive oil in and once the olive oil shimmers we're going to put our ground beef in now all of you who don't know what shimmering is watch this right now you see how it's just kind of standing there as it gets hotter it'll appear to move and that's what we want to see because that's what's going to brown the beef or brown the pork and give you that wonderful flavor that you're looking for. What is it? Color means flavor and fat means flavor. So we want to give our Sunday sauce a little bit of flavor, don't we? I see it's getting hotter. The oil is starting to move. Either that or I haven't had enough to drink yet today. There it goes. See it moving? See it moving? All right. Beef or pork? Which should we do first? Oh my God, we hit smoke point. Do you see it smoking already? I got to turn it down. Take it off the burner for a second. Look at that smoke. Smoke point, that's olive oil, is over 350 degrees. Smoke point of butter is 200. That is hot. That's going to make a good smash burger. I think we might have some of that for lunch today. All right. The other mistake people make, they overload the pan. Oh, you hear that? That's what you want. Look at that right over there. It's browned up already. That's about a half pound of beef. In the pan, in the pan, there we go. The other thing you know, when it's hot and it's brown, it automatically releases. See that right there? That's what we're looking for. See that caramelization? That's called a mallard reaction. Watch that duck. And the other thing you don't want is a bunch of big clumps, so we're gonna break her up a little bit. I have never seen anybody do this before. Now, I don't know how well you can see that flame, but, mm -hmm. and all the way up, all the way down to a simmer. That is just beautiful. Now, this batch is almost done, got a little pink left, and we'll put her in the bowl over there and get on with our next one. That's good. Because we have seen that gray ground beef before. There we go into the pan. Back on the heat. Yes, I'm smashing it down. I want that to touch the pan, good adhesion. And yes, this is one of those ceramic coated non-stick pans. I don't usually use them, but it's what I happen to have today. I'm liking this chef burner so far. And here's the thing I noticed. That right over here, you see these? There's four of them. You can't slide the pot off. Get a big old spaghetti pot going and it ain't gonna tip over on you. I did the same thing a minute ago. I went, that's good. Mm -hmm. Here we go for another batch. I think we ought to do the pork next. Boom. Who used to say that? That was bam. 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 
Mm -hmm. My buddy Chef Emerald, the first real TV chef. Him and the Galloping Gourmet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say Bobby. Uh, Bobby Flay? Yes. Ah, oh, that's before your time. <laughs> Graham, Cor Graham Care. <laughs> the original. I used to watch him when I was like eight or nine years old, stuck home from school. And you could always tell he drank more of the wine than he put in the food. <laughs> that guy was drunk every day on set. He had a good time. <laughs> I'm liking this camp, Chef. Let's see how it's looking on that sausage. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. This could be lunch. Our Sunday sauce recipe, our bolognese sauce recipe, our meatball recipe. Y'all got to have a little color and flavor and break them up. Look at that go. I'm going to set off the fire alarm. They'll enjoy lunch too. <laughs> best, one of the best sales I ever had here at Brad's Home Center was a day the fire alarm went off, the fire engine showed up, the fire marshal showed up. We had five fire trucks in my parking lot. We had the power shut off. They were going through with the infrared detectors. We sold more that day than any other day that I've ever had at Brad's Home Center in the dark with a piece of paper. I need to call them back. <laughs> now they did, never did find anything. Don't know why the fire alarm went off. Now I don't have to get all the pink out of it because it's going in the sauce, it's going to get cooked out. And we're going to talk about pork and tricking gnosis while we're here. Because that's why everybody wants to think you've got to get that pork up to that high temperature. Because trichinosis used to be a disease. It was a bug that was in the, in the pork. And once you got it, you couldn't get rid of it because you had to get it up. Get yourself above 108 for five minutes. Of course, we all die when we're 108 degrees. It gets up in your brain and you see it on your skin. There hasn't been a reported case of trichognosis in the United States for over five years. So, but we're putting that in the sauce. It's going to simmer. It's going to be well above that and get cooked all the way through. So as it sits, it cook as it sits anyway. I cook my pork. I cook my beef. I don't. I don't want to be sick. <laughs> And I know you're all watching me do this and put my hand in it. And you, you YouTubers are all going to be out there. But right over here is my sanitary bleach water that I use every day. Now every time I start cooking, I make one of these. You put a couple of teaspoons of bleach in with your water. And you can smell it. It is sanitary. It cleans everything off. And that's what you want to do. I love a clean work surface. It drives me nuts, doesn't it, Daryl? Yep. Because it's like my mind. If my mind is all messed up, I can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. Look at that brown, that's what we're after.
After this, we gotta saute up an onion. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of this fat in the pan, chop up my onion, heat it back up, and saute it. Mm. I can tell you, I'm really liking this. I've got one of them fancy GE electric gas ranges up front with a 25,000 BTU burner. This is almost as good. Mm. We'll have to look, check down the link below what we paid for it online. It wasn't that expensive. And I bought a bunch of extra cylinders because I don't know how long they're going to last. Anything, you know what's going to be terrible when we run out of gas in the middle of a cook. So you always have an extra. All right, that's done. I'm going to turn that off and scoop that over there into that pan.